Patrick Rothfuss, in the name of the wind, said, when we are children, we seldom think of the future. The innocence leaves us free to enjoy our ourselves as few adults can. The day we fret about our future is the day we leave our childhood behind. When I was a kid, I made that mistake. Most kids don't ever want to grow up. They want to be Toys R Us kids forever. <laughs> but me, I couldn't wait to be an adult. I thought being a kid was so hard. People are always telling you when to go to bed, what to eat, when to get up, and forcing you to go places that you don't even want to go. It seemed as though my parents just got to do whatever they wanted. They went wherever they wanted. They got to decide what we had for dinner. They got to take naps anytime they wanted to. I guess it never really occurred to me that they had to go to work, but I definitely noticed that they had more money than I did. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, when I grow up, I can go to bed whenever I want. I can get up whenever I want. I can eat whatever I want, watch whatever I want, and only clean when I felt like it. So you can imagine what being a young adult was like for me. As a young adult, I very much enjoyed getting to do what I please. I stayed out with friends until 7 a.m. I ate ice cream for breakfast and bacon for lunch. <laughs> but to be completely honest, I overdid it. I was always tired. I began to have an effect on my work performance. Let me clarify, I have fibromyalgia. To those of you who may not know what fibromyalgia is, it is extreme fatigue and body pain caused by overactive nerves. I was diagnosed when I was 17, and I've always been able to manage until I became an adult. I had to go on FMLA, and I was missing at least one day of work a week. Although I couldn't be fired because of the FMLA, my bosses were never really happy with me. No matter how my numbers were, the absences mattered most. So, impetuously, I told them they could take their job, and I left. But I didn't stop partying, and I quickly lost my next job for missing work. With no income, bills piling up, I subsequently moved back in with my parents. How did this happen? I can't live with my parents, I'm an adult. Or so I thought. Moving back in with my parents was a very humbling experience. I was being told what to do and where to be all over again. For a while, I really hated it. But it also made me see my parents through a different light. As a child, I only saw the fun of being an adult. But now I was seeing how much hard work they did. I gained a new appreciation for everything they had done for me as a child, and I saw what type of an adult I wanted to be. Now that I'm actually grown up, I know what it's really about. It's about telling yourself to go to bed because you know you have to be up in the morning. It's about caring what you put in your body because you don't have the metabolism of a child anymore. <laughs> that being an adult, a parent, and a partner is a lot of work. I've learned that quiet time with my family is much more important than partying. I realized that all of the naps that I saw my parents enjoying was just them trying to get the most of the quiet moments in life. Virginia Woolf said it best, growing up is losing some illusions in order to acquire others. So Mr. Fuss wasn't wrong. It is important to make the most of your childhood, but you don't have to just let go of all of it when you become an adult. I want to be the kind of hardworking people that my parents were, but I don't want that to be everything. I want my son to see that growing up is about working hard and being responsible so that you have the freedom to enjoy your family.